Yeah, I'm lit. Like, if you're not going to add value to me, bye. What is the bare minimum a man has to earn for you? We're talking wages. You go monthly or annual? I mean, if you want to raise a family, then you need a lot of bread. <laughs> All right, so how much is that for you? Every girl has her number. What's that for you? 250 minimum. 250, and then how tall has he got to be for you? Ooh, six. He's got to be six feet? Congratulations, that's the top 1% of men. We actually have a calculator that illustrates this. Do I have that calculator what? link by chance? You know what? I resent that statement. It's all about the whole picture. So if he has a good personality and good energy and a good vibe, <laughs> height doesn't matter. I'm serious. Why are you laughing, sir? It's just hilarious. Is that personality? Yeah. Okay. We have to vibe. All right. So right here, we got our handy dandy pressure fit male calculator. So we're going to go ahead and put your dream man into this, okay? What is the minimum age he's got to be for you? 21. 21? All right, maximum age? 99. Like marriage wise? Yeah, like a serious partner that you would. Oh. Minimum to maximum age. Okay. So 21 to 40. How, minimum height, we got six foot, so we'll put that in. Will you date a black guy? No. Okay. So white and Hispanic, it looks like. Hispanic? Will you do Hispanic? If he's a soccer player. All right, we'll just put white here then. Okay. Okay, minimum education for you? Bachelor's. Bachelor's degree? Okay. Do you have a bachelor's yourself? Correct. University of San Diego. And then minimum income, you said 250000 right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Can he be married? No. Okay. Can he be obese? No. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Mo. So now, just so you know, this comes from the 2023 Current Population Survey, National uh, Health and Nutrition Examination Survey, and the CDC. So this is the most accurate assessment of men in the United States. Okay. The calculator that one of our supporters made for us. So let's go ahead and build your man. Let's see what you... He doesn't exist. Let's see how, how prevalent he is. Wait, why isn't there language minimum? He needs to speak two languages minimum. Oh, we're just trying to... Oh, now two languages too? No. Mo, I don't know why. It won't click when I do this. Because he doesn't exist. Can you click that button? Like, I'm trying to click the build your man thing and it was being lame. Language requirement. What's the second language he's got to speak? You got it? Okay, perfect. Like, preferably French. French? Oui. Okay, congratulations. You scored a 5 out of 5 cat bags. 0.024% of men qualify for you. I know, that's why I've been tickled my whole life. I'd so, rather be alone. So, knowing that this man is literally less than 1% of the population, are you willing to lower your standard? I haven't. Okay. All right. There you have it. All right. Well, guys, invest in Chewy. And then not, not to pick on you, but like a lot of girls say the same thing. We've interviewed over 3,000 women. And, you know, this, this they very similar things they're looking for. Six foot, six figures a year, certain age ranges, etc. cetera. And, and I would say 90% of the women that we poll literally describe the same exact. Do you think men screen for intelligence as much as women do? The more I, the higher the IQ of a woman, the higher likelihood she stays single. Remember? For every six IQ points her ch that she had up, her ability to find a partner decreased with that. That's why high value women are single. Because well, I would argue high value women don't exist on their own. I'll explain what I mean by that. So, I think a woman can only be deemed high value. So, if we're gonna talk about a man being successful, that's him getting his money on point, being in shape, being a man that other men respect, other men want to be, other women want to be with, creating change in the world, right? Versus a high value woman is a woman that can attract and retain that guy. So because, you know, a woman's success, unfortunately, isn't necessarily, it's not of interest to us. It's not like when we meet a girl and she says, oh, I am a accountant, I make $200,000 a year. Like guys don't really care about that. And I would argue the more money a man makes, the less he cares about his woman making money. So, so the, me the, the metric is different for each gender on what makes them attractive. So that's why I don't think that a high value woman can exist unless a high value man co-signs her. Now with that said, a higher status guy, rare. Most guys are mediocre at best. So it goes both ways. Okay. So. But from what I hear, as long as a woman is hot and pleasant, she's high value. Only if she can get that guy to take her seriously. And how do you do that? She's definitely a prospect.
well, that's on the woman to retain the guy. You know, I think it's the man's job to attain the girl. It's the woman's job to retain the man. To mirror what he does. Support him. Yes, yes. And don't be a pain in the ass. Right. And nowadays you have the boss-ass bitch women that do their own thing. Yes. If a man tries to tell her how to act or what not to do, she's going to walk away. Because they behave like men. They literally behave like men. They're a boss. Because what does it take to be a boss? You have to be masculine, aggressive, competitive, non-agreeable. These are all traits that men don't like. Like, we don't want to date ourselves. Think like a man, act like a woman. Because men just do things women don't. We overthink everything. Yeah, like, I mean, if I told you that I'm a metrosexual and I do my nails every week and I wore heels on Saturdays, you would see? Look at your face. You would never take me seriously, correct? Good. So I find it interesting that women think that men are going to take them seriously when they behave like men. You wouldn't accept me if I was feminine. Why should I accept you if you're masculine? How are we masculine, though? I see. That's a good point. You glad you're open-minded to it? It's all backwards. It's going to blow you away, but dumb women are actually the smart ones because they can retain men, right? A lot of times they do. Yeah, yeah. so it's all backwards, yeah. I know it sucks, but dumb women win the game. They have husbands. But are they happy? Well, they got husbands. They're not alone. A lot of times they are. No, they're probably miserable. No, they're they're not. Women typically. I've brought so many career women on that make a bunch of money. They're in their thirties and they're childless, yeah. and they'll say, "I regret pursuing a career, and making money. I wish I put more stake into being in a relationship and finding a man to take me seriously." Or it's the other way. They have a career, they were able to get a family, and they gave up that career for the family. It's one of those two situations. But typically, the children and family always sets the precedence. The only time I've seen women say, oh, I care about my career and all this other stuff, is typically when they still have a lot of options. But as they get older, they start to realize, damn, yeah, less options, money time and thinking. all this crap doesn't matter to me as a woman. Because for us men, we, we have the privilege, right, the convenience of being able to kind of stave off marriage and wait a bit. Versus you guys don't have that same ability. I know. You guys have a finite amount of time to find a man. That is very correct. Welcome to the trauma bill. You are now fixed. I think she knew this stuff subconsciously, but like now I'm like, Putting it out into words, but and she's like, she "Shit!" Nodding her head a lot. Here's the scary part, my I know. Yes. I, yeah, I see. Is, like even when women agree, they always go home and forget what you said. Yeah. It's, it's kind of sad. Girls, listen to me. I think we'd be in a much better position, but I they just call me a misogynist. This all. I know. What's your thoughts on that, Zerka? Whoa, I, I don't no, think men and women could like be friends, to be honest with you. No, because all men want. If you hit those guys up and said, "Oh, I'm horny right now," they would run over here in two seconds. So I don't think men and women can actually be friends. She knows. But she's smart. She's playing the game. Like, hey, I'm able to extract value from these guys. They give me good advice. I get that masculine energy. I don't got to fuck them. So I understand. Uh, Are you sure you disagree with her? <laughs> Probably not, honestly. I thought she said she disagreed with you. What happened? Yeah, she did. I, I, yeah. She's a misogynist. Right. Not me. I'm no, just kidding. You're not kidding. I'm just kidding. You're actually correct. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Cool. That was fantastic. Yeah, good. It was a good discussion. You wanna, I don't know, say anything to the people? We got like 10,000 plus watching on YouTube and on Rumble. This is live. Oh yeah, we're live right now. Look, we're on YouTube right now. Oh my goodness. YouTube and Rumble. Wow. Right now we got 11,000 watching between the platforms. Oh my gosh! Wow. Yeah, we got almost 30,000 between everything. I think. Men and females compliment each other, and I think we all need affection. But it's hard to find that sometimes. And in that, you should be self-reliant, and that's why women are focused on their career, because a man can walk away at any second. So I think that's why yeah. we're kind of career-driven these days. I understand, but men rarely leave women, though. Really? Yeah. Hey, let me ask you something. What do you think of this whole theme of cougars? Because I'm, I'm seeing it. Cougars, they're typically used for sex only. Really? Yeah, typically, yeah. You mean we don't want to take care of their kids? Yeah, yeah, like, it, they're typically used for sexual access only. But it's for sex, yeah. Only. I don't know. They're doomed, most of the time. Because a lot of times they got kids too, so it's like, fuck, you're in your 40s and you got kids, it's like. I mean, typically it's women and middle-aged women that have children. What a cougar would be defined as sometimes childless, but still in their, in their, they're past their prime, so to speak. I would say a woman starts to hit the deep around 30. 
30, 30 plus is uh, when things really start to go downhill. Oh, boy. Of course, you can always push the clock back, but keep in mind that it's also behavior too. Women that are older tend to have certain behaviors that aren't necessarily the most conducive to attracting a man, right? The same self-reliance that you talk about tends to kind of perpetuate itself in conversations and it just comes out naturally. Our society is just shitty and people now are meeting their significant others by swiping. I'm so sorry. You should see our show. <laughs> yeah, we say worse. There's all these meet cute stories of how a man met her husband. You really want to say, oh, mom, how'd you meet dad? Oh, like we swiped on each other on a dating app. That's actually one of the fastest growing ways. But we're just like in weird times now, honestly. Yeah. It's one of the fastest growing ways of people to meet nowadays. The internet, for sure. Globalized sex Go ahead. We are one of the most canceled people, for sure. We say what it is, man. We're not worried. We talk about a bunch of different things that are considered non-politically correct. Sometimes even slurs. Yeah. But not on YouTube. Are you with America? Yes. Are you not voting for Joe? Hell no. Oh, let's go. Joe doesn't know what day of the week it is.